Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, Fantasy Star Online 2 developers uh, have released a new troubleshooting guide on their website. So, I'll put the link in the description and in the comments, but I might as well go through it with you. We can talk about it, see what they're talking about. So, attention arcs. We, will, uh, we are still working closely with Microsoft to resolve the issues related to the download installation process of Windows 10. In the meanwhile, please read this article for more information that can help you navigate and solve some of these issues. So... Greeting, art uh, greeting articles, I was going to say, greeting arcs. In this article, we will be addressing issues that some users have uh, experienced while trying to download and install Fantasy Star Online 2 on Windows 10. We are currently receiving inquiries that uh, for the following uh, issues that can occur. So code... Um, I'm not going to read those out, but you can see them on the screen. These errors will occur when downloading Fantasy Star Online 2 from the Microsoft Store. Please try the following actions, which could solve your problems. Update your Microsoft Store app. Please wait and try to download a later time. Access the Microsoft Store might be exceeding its capacity. I don't know if I can believe that, because wouldn't the Microsoft Store be basically pretty much using the same system that the xbox one is using as in like they're probably using the same clouding systems and everything else with the ability to have really good capacity eh, i don't know if i can believe that's the excuse but whatever uh if the issue persists select the windows key f launch feedback hub please send a report to microsoft uh, in the feedback hub with the following information. Summary of your information. Fantasy Star Online 2, Windows Store. Give us more details. Optional. Please describe the issue that you're experiencing. So they showing you that uh, Windows key F and then launch the feedback hub. You can see here it's showing the, you know, in the description. And then you'd explain your information. Choose the category. Please select gaming and Xbox and game installation. So, uh so the error message, file system error, blah, blah, blah. Please make sure you're signed in. Uh, information is the same in all three of the following. Sign in information in the Microsoft Store. The user sign in information that appears when you select your profile picture on the top right corner of the Microsoft Store. So we had talked about this in another video already. Uh, sign in information on the Windows 10 can be found in settings, accounts, email accounts, add a Microsoft account. So there you go. And then sign information found in the Xbox console companion setting account as well. I don't think I ever touched that, but I hit a, a tab or whatever, and I guess that might have been related. Uh, error message, last error, 1813. There is a possibility that you may not be running the game as an administrator. Please enable administration administrator privileges and try starting the game again. So right-clicking. So if you type in start and type in Fantasy Star, and right click that and run as admin that in a sense should run that uh, error 140 and 106 these can occur while downloading the patch file please try the following actions which can help resolve the problem please try rebooting your pc please update the graphic driver sound driver and other drivers to the latest version please contact your pc manufacturer or parts manufacturer for information on how to update your graphics driver please make sure that your security software firewall is not blocking fantasy star online 2 communications if blocked please remove fantasy star online 2 installation folder from the monitor software uh actually you usually you would add it to be removed from it you don't remove it but you know what i mean usually uh, firewalls the way it works is you add it to give it the full permissions but whatever uh after uninstalling the software please try and reinstall again with uh administrative privileges if you try all these uh, all above but the issue remains please notify your internet service provider that you can't download the file the security settings of your internet service provider may be affecting the download or installation process I'm an ISP, and if somebody called me up with this, I would be <laughs> would be infurious. <laughs> what? I can't believe that is their excuse they're going with that. Oh, my goodness. You know how many people would call? Like, 90% of people are going to still have issues. You know, they can have, uh, you know, malware, whatever, a virus thing going on. Maybe their router is acting up, things like that. But your ISP is not going to cause this. Even if you're behind 10 NATs, you're going to be still able to download it. Like, you'd have to be in, you know, a college firewall. Then that'd be, that'd be one thing, right? But this would piss off a lot of ISPs if all of a sudden people started to call them up saying, I can't install my video game. You know how embarrassing that is? Oh my goodness, don't be one of those people. 
We are deeply sorry for the inconvenience and issues some of you have experienced during this launch of a fan of, of Fantasy Star Online 2 on Windows 10. So there you guys go. I'll put this in the description. This is a bit embarrassing, though. Um, one of the things, they, they don't tell you about the issues of the Microsoft Store. So one of the biggest issues that I heard is that if you install it on a different drive than what Windows 10 is on, and then you reboot it, a lot of times I've been hearing people would not be able to launch the game again. It'd be grayed out, or there'd be other issues. Like, apparently, it's Symbiont Link or whatever that they use in Windows is screwed up, and it doesn't realize it's there. It's lost that, that connection. And so that's caused a lot of issues, and that's where I recommend uh, the PSO2 Tweaker. Uh, and use that launcher instead and just go directly to the file and uh, yeah you can do it that way but uh, this is bold guys I, I will tell you right now this is this is some interesting stuff on here but uh, obviously they're attempting to help but you know the person who's writing this is definitely not you know I wouldn't say is decently at tech support it feels like somebody like me on YouTube who just looked at some random issues and problems and suggested some solutions this doesn't seem like you know to the full extent a proper you know not a proper write out for this information but that's my opinion anyways anyways maybe let's help some of you guys hopefully um you know some issues anyways uh and hopefully uh sega and microsoft can work this out a bit better in the future anyways thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see you wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye